Coming out and nice mild temperatures. I was trying to see 51, 61 degrees. 61. Beautiful. Right mm -hmm. 52, Tegan says. Lady Lindsay waking us up this morning too. <laughs> yeah, she's waking <laughs> up uh, on the sand volleyball courts mm -hmm. and handle something new down in America's hometown. Yeah. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, guys. Yes, I can attest that it is 52 degrees out here. So for some reason, I always pick the coldest morning of, of the week to come out and do something outside. But it's a great day outside. There's not a cloud in the sky. Um, it's going to be a great day, says Tegan. So I'm going to agree with her on that one. We are up here. Um, on it, You kind of take Spring Street to get here a little bit past Lover's Leap. Um, there were the old tennis courts were, and now they've been transformed into sand volleyball courts. Um, and we have some players out here this morning uh, from Hannibal High School. So we want to thank them for coming out here this morning. Also with Hannibal Parks and Recreation, we have Aaron Lee who's with us. Uh, and you guys have some leagues coming up. Correct. Uh, leagues will actually start next week. Uh, we have our first one on Tuesday night and our next one's going to be on Thursday night. Both of those are co-ed. We're actually still looking for teams for Thursday. So people want to sign up, come down to our office in City Hall. How many people do you have to have on a team? Uh, you need six to play. It's preferably three. Oh, hold on. <laughs> we got a we got a ball ball situation here. <laughs> Preferably, we want three guys, three girls. Mm -hmm. um, you can have four girls and two and uh, two guys okay. if you need be. Um, but yeah, preferably six. You can have up to ten on the roster as well. Okay. And are there different rules as opposed to regular volleyball? No, usually they're the same for sand volleyball. Um, with the co-ed, it's not quite as competitive, mm -hmm. so we don't allow any spiking, um, no jump serves, things like that. Is it a little bit harder to do in the sand? <laughs> it's a little more difficult to run around in the sand, uh, but most teams, they've played before, so they know what they're doing. All right, and we're going to call Andrew over here. Um, he is playing with us this morning. Um, Andrew, you want to come on over? He's a, He was the first one here this morning, bright and early. Um, with a little bit of help from his mom so <laughs> and how long have you been playing volleyball uh not very long not very long but why do you do it because it's fun yeah are you going to be playing the summer at all yeah a lot mud okay. volleyball in the sand league mud volleyball we're going to talk about that a little bit later because part of national tom sawyer days um, is a mud volleyball tournament and uh we're going to toot our own horn a little bit uh in the next half hour <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I always like it when you toot to your own horn, I guess. Degrees. Welcome back to KHQA this morning. All right, Lindsay Boach is out this morning playing some sand volleyball. I keep wanting to call you Misty May Trainer or Carrie Walsh. Um, are you going to fit the bill? I don't know. I don't get that. They're only Olympic athletes in sand volleyball. Uh, oh, um, then, no. Oh, are there, is that what you showed me yesterday? Yes. Oh, no, that's not going to be me today. Sorry, it's a little cold for, for that this morning. Um, we're talking about sand volleyball. We're also talking a little bit about mud volleyball. Chad, I'm going to toot your horn um, because I wasn't on the team, but um, every year for National Tom Sawyer Days, they have a mud volleyball tournament. And you guys uh, took home first place for the media competition. So anybody who's watching that played against uh, our team, haha. -ha. We won. And uh, we have the trophy. You guys have it on set, I believe, with you, or you guys have it in there. Um, we also have a picture of the team, if you want to go ahead and roll that. Um, the team, w Chad, you would know more about who was on the team. I was the only one in the newsroom working that day. Um, but you guys had a lot of fun. We did, and this is what it is. It's for the Mud Volleyball Media Tournament. So we take on other medias in the tri-states. Um, and we're, mm -hmm. we're first place winners two years in a row. Mm -hmm. It's just the first year mm -hmm. we won um, some newspaper stole our trophy <laughs> and so we didn't get it back to last year and then we made darn sure we were coming home with it so year, yeah so we'll hopefully see. we get to play again this year um mary lynn richards is with us this morning uh she's kind of standing in the background but she i believe was on that team the wig Ooh. team when they stole our trophy she might have been you? she's shaking her head yes <laughs> well, we have the trophy back we're going to keep it in our newsroom um we should probably come down here to hannibal they have a new tennis or they were tennis courts rather um now it's a sand volleyball court and it's you take uh, 79 past Lover's Leap, and then you turn right, and then you kind of go up and you turn left on Recreation. So it's really easy to get here. You just keep following it up. And there's two courts here. They have lights. Um, you have to pay extra for the lights if you're planning on playing at night. We have some uh, Hannibal High School <laughs> players with us. Cody, come on over here. Uh, he is graduating tonight, so we're going to talk to him a little bit about some volleyball and about graduation. You're a senior graduating tonight. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I'm very excited to graduate. And playing sand volleyball makes it just better. And uh, how often have you played, or how long have you played? I've played for about two or three years now. And are you going to be playing here this summer? Mm-hmm, yes. And do you compete in the mud volleyball tournament? Uh, yeah, we're actually going to compete this year. It'll be my first year. Are they? Are any of them on your team? 
Yeah, we have most of them on the team. There's a few except like a couple aren't going to play, but most of everybody over there is on the team. All right, and um, Aaron Lee is with us. He also he's with the Hannibal Parks and Recreation. If people want to rent these courts, how do they do that? How do they get a hold of you guys? If they want to, they can call our office uh, or just come down to the office. We have a contract they need to fill out. Um, if they don't want to rent it out, they can come up here too. It's first come, first serve. Okay. And do but do they have to rent it out? They don't have to. Okay. So I um, mean, if they want to come up here and they're available, then. It's all it's all game for them. So all right, sounds good. Um, we're going to be learning more about volleyball, sand volleyball rules, if there's any differences, um, and that'll be coming up in the next half hour. All right, we will see you then, and hopefully you'll get a little sand degrees if you're outside. Summer though is right around the corner. Yeah, and it's in the air and underneath of Lindsay's feet this morning. She's out at sand <laughs> volleyball courts. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, and their new sand volleyball courts. Good morning, guys. Uh, there were tennis courts uh, mm -hmm. up here. Uh, you kind of go past Lover's Leap and then turn right and head on up, and uh, they're where the old tennis courts are. They just put sand over it. So uh, they're going to be open all summer. It's a great way to get some exercise, have a little fun, and enjoy the summer. And it looks like it's going to be um, a warm week, end of the week and weekend. So if you want to head out here Saturday, it looks like it's going to be pretty hot. Bring some water with you. Aaron Lee joins me with the Hannibal Parks and Recreation. And uh, this is new for you guys. Correct, yeah, these are going to be brand new for our department. Uh, we just converted these old tennis courts to sand volleyball courts, and we've had a, a big showing for it, and we're going to have leagues starting next week. And uh, can people still get involved in the league? Correct. Uh, Tuesday night is full, but currently we're still looking for teams on Thursday night. And how many people need to be on a team? It's a co-ed team, so we're look you have need to have at least six, uh, three guys, three girls. Uh, you can have up to ten on the roster. And now if somebody wanted to come play on a Wednesday night, what would they have to do? If they wanted to just come up here, uh, they're more than welcome to. It's first come, first serve. If they want to have it for sure, they need to fill out a contract, and that's located at our office in City Hall. Okay, we've been uh, we've been playing some vol. I say we, but they've actually been playing volleyball with us this morning. Um, these are some kids from Hannibal High School, and I overheard them saying that they have a challenge, and uh, they are challenging some Q and D players to play them on Thursday night. Have you guys picked a Thursday yet? No, not yet. Okay, so the challenge doesn't matter. Challenge is just beginning. Um, so if you are on Q&D's volleyball team, you can just get a hold of me. I know um, one of these players' moms, and we'll, we'll get the thing set, situated and all set up. And um, I'm thinking they're probably going to want you guys to come here uh, to these new sand volleyball courts. Maybe this can become a very good rivalry for the summer. But they've been playing with us all morning, and uh, one of them is graduating. Cody is graduating. We talked to him a little bit earlier on in the show. So if you're looking for something to do this summer and you want to come maybe be on a beach somewhere but don't have the money to travel, there's some sand right here in Hannibal and all you need to do is you need to bring your own ball, I assume? Correct, yeah. Okay. If you just want to come up here and practice, bring your own stuff and it's, it'll be open for you. All right, sounds good. And you can get a hold of Hannibal Parks and Recreation. Um, we'll put that number for you on our Facebook page. Very awesome. nice. What a fun morning Lindsay mm -hmm. has had. Always. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well you can get